Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a set of nails with Madame Glam's brand new builder gel. So they've got these um, pastel builder gels that aren't translucent, and then they've got some translucent builder gels, which I will show you all of. So the first one is a beautiful pastel green and it's called Builder Meadow Green. Ideal name, yes it is. <laughs> I'm not going to show you me actually swatching them. I'm just going to show you them swatched. Um, the next one is Builder Aquamarine. I love this one. I really like blues at the moment. And then another blue, which is a beautiful Arctic blue, they've called it. And as you can see, the swatches are pretty. I mean, they're true to the colour. Um, this next one is one of my favourites, Builder Lavender. Beautiful pastel purple lilac i suppose it's called isn't it and then you've got builder light purple this is kind of like an in-between um i'm going to show you the next two colors aren't new ones but they are they are so this one's baby builder pink this has been a builder gel that they've done for a long time i just wanted to include it in the video so that you could see the pinks as well because you're probably thinking oh they haven't brought out any pinks but actually they already have two this is light pink they might even have more i just can't remember but these are the ones that i have and then there's build a coral and then the last one is builder white so this is the last one of the um the less of the like the not really translucent ones so I'm going to show you them all together. So as I said before, the pink ones aren't new, but I wanted to keep I wanted to show you them all together because I thought they looked really nice all together. I think they've got a really nice selection of colors there. I love them. They're so pretty. They're going to be great for spring coming up. Ooh! And then these are the clear or translucent builder gels. So this was brilliant yellow. I think it said brilliant yellow. I can't see because my recording box is in the way as per usual. Yeah, brilliant yellow. And then um, this next one is one of my favourites. This is Builder Emerald Green. It's not like a really bright green. It's like a, I don't know, I just love this. And then we have got, I can't remember what the colour is, Royal Blue, Builder Royal Blue. So obviously the thicker you put these on, the deeper that colour is going to be. And then this is another one of my favourites. <laughs> Builder Violet. Oh, it's just beautiful. Love it so much. And then I have got Builder Magenta. So this is a very bright pink. And I'm going to do a set. Oh, hang on. This isn't the last one. Oh, I jumped the gun I did. The very, very last one is Builder Burnt Red. They could not have a red, could they? So, right. So that is the last one and then one that they already have is pure serenity this isn't a new one and um, this is one that they already have this is their clear builder gel it's a little bit dusty on the top because i've not used it for a long time <laughs> so if you want a clear builder gel pure serenity is their clear one okay now on to the set so i've got some glitters i'm going to use these colors and i've got some tips i'll show you what the glitters are in a minute as i go along so the first nail i i done it wrong so i'm going to show you how i initially done it so i put a layer of the colored gel on and then i cured that in the lamp i cured them for 60 seconds i think you only have to cure them for 30 but i did cure them for 60 or did i i can't remember and i don't know i'm sorry um, so these are the glitters I'm using. These are all four of the micro mylars from Nail Sugar. Um, you can order these, and if you want to save 10% off your on your order, you can using code NATMUG10 all in caps. So I'm using all of these in every single nail. Um, so initially I used my dusty fluffy brush thing and I dipped it into the mylar and then dipped it onto the cured builder gel onto that tacky layer but it didn't it didn't because my I don't know I ended up with like little bits of hair and stuff on the nail so it kind of wasn't the best way to do it um so and then I came to cap the mylar 
and I ended up getting some stuck on my brush and it was just a little bit it was like no I'm not going to do it this way again so I'm going to show you in a minute the best way to do it without getting bits of hair stuck in your nail because <laughs> your client aren't going to want encapsulated bits of hair and dust and lint and whatever are they I'm just going to finish this one off make sure you get enough product down the sides okay so I'm going to pop that in the lamp it's pretty though isn't it I really quite like that so I'm going to do the next ones like this I'm going to put my you're obviously going to go in with your base coat and then your colored gel I'm pretending that this is more of like an overlay because I don't know that I'd want to do I don't think I'd do super long extensions with this stuff maybe short extensions um, so now I haven't cured that gel um, the builder gel but I'm going to tap I've dipped my brush into the mylar and then I'm tapping it over that uncured gel and then the mylar is going to sink in to the gel and then I'm going to cure that in the lamp and then the mylar is going to cure in the gel and when I come to cap it the gel won't the sorry the mylar won't get stuck in the gel on the brush hope that makes sense um to make my life a lot easier I'm going to put down one coat of color on each tip all at once And then I'm going to tap the mylar over all three of the remaining nails. Just because I'm, I, I just thought it would take ages if I'd done it individually. So again, I'm picking up um, bits of each colour of the micro mylar. And then I'm going to tap it all over the nails. And then once I'm happy, I'm just going to carry on finishing doing this. And then there we go, that is, I'm happy with how much mylar's on there. I'm going to cure it in the lamp. And then I'm going to take each um, colour individually and cap it with some more of the translucent builder gel. If you don't make it quite to the end, you can always go back in with another bead. Um, I missed a bit in the middle there. Can you see the bit of mylar poking up? So I'm just going to go back in and make sure that every single bit is covered. Remember, the more times you lift your brush off the gel, the more likely you are to create air bubbles in the gel. So just make sure that you keep in contact with the gel and your with the with the. Make sure you keep your brush in contact with your gel as much as possible. I'm not a gel tech, but YouTube has taught me something. But obviously, I'm not qualified, so don't take me. It's not you know not gospel. <laughs> Yeah, I sound like I know. I, honestly, I've got a clue what I'm on about. <laughs> anyway, once I'm happy, um, I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish the rest, cure them in the lamp, and then this is what they look like, okay? So they're all going to have tacky layers, but I need to just give them a quick file and a buff to make sure that they are all sort of even and smooth. So before I file them, I'm going to take a lint-free wipe and some isopropyl alcohol and just give them a quick wipe over to remove the tacky layer. And then I'll give them a file and a buff. And then they look like this. And I'm going to go over once more with a lint-free wipe and some isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that there's no dust on dust anybody just to make sure there's no dust on the nails before i um carry on with the rest of the design so i'm using perfect white gel polish and i've got a dotting tool and i'm just going to create some clouds i just wanted to keep this set really simple and i thought this was really cute so yeah i thought i'd do this my friend karen done a rainy day set and i just i love clouds and stuff i don't know i just think they're super cute um, so while I am finishing off the clouds, um, you can get 30% off any of these builder gels or anything actually from Madame Glam using my code NATMUG30. Um, so yes, yeah, so that will save you 10, no it won't, it will save you 30%. Um, it's always down in the description box of my videos anyway. And as I said before, I think I've already mentioned, you can get 10% off any nail sugar products using code NATMUG10 all in caps. So be sure to take advantage of the discounts. 
So if you want to, you can flash cure these in the lamp as you go. I think I do this nail and then I will cure or flash cure and then I finish the rest. Uh, you don't have to. That's just what I felt like I was going to do. So I'm just going to let you watch this. There we go. I will finish off the other two nails. Um, pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to use Madden Glam's No Wipe Top Gel to do top coat time. And this just brings the nails to life. You'll have to let me know down in the comments which is your favourite colour out of all of them. If I don't know that I could pick a favourite, um, I could pick a top, perhaps a top six. I just think they're all really nice and I think they're going to be really, really good for doing like jelly nails and stuff for the spring and summer. I don't know if... if I don't know if jelly nails will be a thing this year. I expect they will. I expect people will still want them. I really, really like this green though. And the yellow. You could do like a bumblebee nail with the yellow, couldn't you? Or something. I don't know. By the way, the noise in the background is my son with his iPad. <laughs> Just so that you know. Okay, so these are going to be cured in a lamp for 30 seconds. I think they look lovely with the mylar between them. Um, there we go. Oh, I love them. I'm going to give you a close up without the tips underneath so you can see them without the blue tack. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I nearly got tongue tied then. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing weekend and I will see you all next week.